Video, it's your girl Z, and I'm back with another one. So, y'all, I'm literally it is 1 39 a.m. Um, and I'm literally oh, now I want to update. I've been waiting like 25 minutes for iMovie to update because I'm trying to get a video out, um, edit it tonight. Um, well, it's morning time now, but I was trying to attempt to get my next vlog edited and ready to post by tomorrow but my macbook had other plans so i just got done updating my iMovie because i'm like my iMovie was moving so slow i didn't know what's up anyway y'all so it is technically it is may 5th and um i just wanted to start this vlog off the right way don't mind my juice y'all <laughs> i'll be getting thirsty but anyway so today is officially 5-5 five, five, y'all and if you are a like loyal subscriber you know that I've been plotting on my new car y'all so literally I work my ass off every single day and my my first goal that I wanted to accomplish for 2022 is to get my car well my truck so like I said if you've been following me on here for a minute you know that I've been wanting my Wrangler, my Jeep Wrangler for some time now. And um, I like be dragging it. Like, cause it's like, I'm more of a, as long as I can get to A to B, I'm good, make my money, whatever. But I mean, it's time to, you know, it's time for me to get my truck, y'all. I've been dragging it. So a couple months ago, I set a goal to um, get my Jeep by May. And it's just been so weird, y'all, because for the last couple of months, like definitely all April, I've been catching the numbers 555, like out of controllably, like literally every day I might look at a view, somebody views and it'd be 555. It's been times I wake up in the middle of the night and I pick up my phone, it's 555. Um, I constantly ch uh, catch, I catch other angel numbers too, y'all. But it's just this 555 I keep catching. I'm like, oh my God, I just picked up my phone. It's 555. Or I'll just randomly look at the time and be like 555. So um, I think this was like the beginning of April. It was so crazy because this is when it all started. I um I had I had I was on my way home from a shoot or something like that. Or whatever. No. I was on my way to my shoot, one of my photo shoots for Tina Coke Cosmetics in I had caught the time on my phone, 555, five, five, and then that same day, I had 5.55 subscribers on YouTube all in the same day. And I swear, after that, I just kept seeing 555, five, kept seeing 555, five, kept seeing 555. Five, five. And it just, someone ain't right, y'all. I feel like that's a sign. Like, um, those are angel numbers for sure. So, you know, I was doing like a lot of research on the numbers and stuff. And, you know, they basically mean like change in your life is about to come. Change, change, change. And all of, a bunch of other stuff or whatever. But I've been seeing 555 like crazy, y'all. Like, it's really been scaring the hell out of me. Like, so a couple months ago, I made a goal that, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to sit a goal. Because honestly, y'all, it. You plan on doing something, you want to get something, or you want to get something done, and you have a goal, you have to put a day on there. You have to put a date, a time. I want to have this completed by this day. I want to have this completed by this time. I want to have this completed this month. So I've been saying I want my car so bad, but I haven't put a goal on it. And if you don't put a date 
on your goals, you don't know, you won't have any motivation or no structure to accomplish it. So I um basically put a date on it finally. And I said, May 2022, I'm getting my Jeep. I'm getting my Jeep. I'm going to get my Jeep in May. I'm going to get my Jeep in May. Um, I want to get all my business and stuff out the way first so I can sh like focus on it. So my classes, um, my last Tina Cole Cosmetics launch, I want to get it out the way so then, you know, I could focus strictly on my car. So I set a day for May 2022 because by that time, all of that will be done. So when me seeing 555 five, five, so often, I said, wow, what are the odds that I set my goal to get my car in May? So it's only right to try and go to the lot May 5th, like 55. Five, five. Like it's something about this 555555 five, 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 that I keep seeing. Let's go and let's try to get this done. Let's accomplish this goal. It's only right. I've been seeing 555 five, like crazy and on top of that i set a goal to have it in may and i could get it may 5th so what i did is i came up with the day um me kian was like you need to get your jeep on 5 5 and i said oh that's a brilliant idea so i took off um may 5th the whole day so i don't have no clients because i know car searching takes a full day so i took off the whole day or whatever i have three dealerships um that i wrote down tonight well, I've been having my eye on them because they have my car. So I have um, three dealerships that I'm going to go to tomorrow. Um, I know it's an all-day process, but I just have a really, really good feeling, y'all. I don't, I'm not seeing these numbers for nothing. You know what I'm saying? So tomorrow is literally car day, y'all. Car day, car day, car day. Like I've been praying, I've been writing. I'm just so anxious and nervous at the same time because. I like to stay positive, but I also don't like to, you know, get my hopes up when it comes to stuff like this. Because it's just, it just be so much when it comes to cars, y'all. But I'm trying to keep a positive mind. Um, I work hard. I deserve it. So, you know, that's why I'm doing it. It's one of my first goals that I wanted to have done in the beginning of the year. And I've been working my ass off since January. So it is only right, y'all. 5'5", five, five, I'm going to get my Jeep. So it is officially 5'4". Well, it's technically 5'5", five, because five, it's 1 o'clock in the morning, y'all. And it's the, it's the day. The day is today. Um, I'm waking up tomorrow at 7 o'clock because we want to start going to the dealerships early when they first open. They usually open around 9, 10. So I'm waking up at 7. I'm going to get in a shower. I'm going to pray. I'm going to write in my five-minute journal, make me coffee. Y'all, I'm going to get cute. I'm going to put some cute, chill clothes on tomorrow. Do me a really cute bun. Put me some little eyebrows on, y'all. I'm just, I feel like yo, what I tell y'all, when you look good, you feel good. I ain't had the best day today, but I'm making tomorrow one of the best days of my life. So, I'm properly, like, preparing for it, like, I'm getting cute. I'm not going to go to the dealership looking like a bum because if I do get my car, I need to be cute. Pulling off the lot of my shit. Okay? So, I'm doing all that. I'm putting me on some cute lashes. Like, everything. I got my nails done today, y'all. Um, I did a maintenance vlog, but it might not go up because I freaking broke my memory card that I recorded it on today. Ain't that stupid, y'all? So, I got my nails done today. I just got some medium um, nails. Squares. I just wanted to be done up so, you know, I could feel good. Like, when I'm looking a mess, I feel a mess. So, when you look good, you feel good. Period. Y'all, I had to get on here and start this vlog, y'all. I'm so freaking nervous. What if tomorrow is supposed to go? I was supposed to go. It's going to go. And that's the mindset I'm going to have. I'm documenting everything, y'all. This is the start. Um, I just want to get on here and tell I, I just want to pick up my camera and really like tell y'all like what's tomorrow, why I chose tomorrow. Like literally, I'm gonna insert some clips of like all the screenshots. Like every time I catch five five five, I literally screenshot it. So I'm gonna insert some clips or whatever so y'all can really see I'm dead ass, like no joking. Like I always I've been seeing five 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 like crazy. So Y'all, I'm about to give me some sleep. It's going on 2 o'clock. I'm waking up at 7. I'm waking up early. I got a lot of 
I have to talk to God. I have to pray. Like, it's going to be a good day, y'all. And I'm going to take y'all with me. So, I'm about to shut down for the night. Um, like I said, I'm getting up at 7. So, I will officially see y'all in the morning time. If you're watching this vlog, just drop me a, you know, pause it for five seconds and just drop me a little prayer. I mean, if you're a loyal subscriber, you see how hard I work. So, you know, I deserve everything I want, need, and have come in my way. So, drop a little prayer for me. We'll see y'all in the AM. I love y'all so much. And pray for me. Please pray for me. Bye. Good morning, y'all. It is officially May 5th. And I got a late start, y'all. It's just a long story why my, my day is starting so late. But... Y'all know, I just talked to y'all last night. It is officially May 5th, and I am on my way to my first dealership. So, I'm going to talk to y'all when I get in the car. One second. My makeup looks so cute today. <laughs> okay, y'all. So, like I said, it's officially May 5th, y'all. This is the day. So, I woke up with the attitude this morning that anything could go wrong today when, shit, when you searching for cars and shit. Like, that's just what happens. But... I just chose today, which is a special day, 5-5. Five, five. I told y'all that earlier in the video. If you skip that part, you got to go back to make it make sense. But I decided to go this day because I feel like this was the perfect day to, you know, do what I got to do. So today I'll be handling business by myself. Um, I got my clipboard. Y'all know when I got my clipboard, I mean business. So um, first of all, let's get into this makeup look, y'all. I randomly picked up this. I got to show y'all later. It's like this matte little oil or whatever. Because I realized my makeup been real oily lately or getting oily. So I tried like this matte oil primer. So basically it's like an oil. It's real liquidy. But you put it on your face as a primer and then you do your makeup. And I really, really am feeling this. It's really matte, real pretty. But anyway, y'all. So today it's 12 o'clock. Y'all know I was supposed to start my day at like 8, 9, 10 or whatever. But whatever. We're just going to keep moving. We're not going to let, you know, obstacles get in our way today. Because yeah i got three dealerships on my clipboard i basically um picked out three jeeps that i seen that i liked and i wrote them down in a list from the price of it because obviously i don't want to spend an arm and a leg so i'm looking at jeeps from the price all the way to the year so i'm starting with the 2020 jeep or whatever um and it's so crazy because the jeep that i found the 2020 jeep that i found um it's a little cheaper than in 2019. I'm not going, um, I'm not living above my means or whatever, but I'm definitely not going, if I'm finna get a new car, you know, it's gonna be a new car. It needs to have, it's certain things that my car has to have. And one of the things that my car has to have is a back camera. Um, I did my research. I did a whole lot of research in my, um, the 2018 and under does not have back camera, so I just can't do that. Because my car that I got right now don't have back camera, so everything has to be a level up. You know, I'm doing nothing but leveling up in life, so my car has to go there with me. I'm looking for 2019, 2020, so I'm my first location is in Dallas. And also, I looked at the, um, I wrote down the Jeeps in order from how close it is to me, because the first one is in Dallas. I live in, um a suburb so dallas is like in the middle so the first stop is dallas and then the second stop is near dallas but a little bit further and then the last stop is way way further never know might not make it there today um i woke up with the mindset that i'm going car shopping every time you car, go car shopping everything doesn't work out the first day the first time you go look um it's all a process so i'm just trying to figure out because i do got a couple little obstacles or whatever so i'm just trying to figure out um what it is i didn't really want to go alone because i know people like to like um car salesmen and stuff like to play you but i got you know my mama got my back my man got my back so it's just like whatever um so yeah y'all we are officially on our way to the first location actually i just pulled off no seatbelt no um no seat belt no what is this okay no seat belt no address or whatever so i'm about to go to the first location let me type it in and y'all i also woke up with the mindset that i have like i want my jeep or whatever but i'm not too like 
Wow, this still far as fuck. I'm not too like. I guess I could look at other options. Maybe I don't know. It all depends when I get there. So it must be traffic. It's so take. It's taking 45 minutes to get there. Um, I was gonna go to Starbucks this morning, but I decided that I'm not in a Starbucks type of mood. <laughs> so um, I'm on my way there. I'm gonna um, listen to my music, get in good spirits and stuff. Get my attitude together a little bit. A uh, positive day. If y'all made it this far in the video, wish a bitch luck. I wish a bitch luck. So I see y'all when I get to the first location. Y'all, do y'all hear this? It would choose today. It's been sunny all week. It choose today to rain, y'all. Like, that's real suckish. Like, dead ass. I hope it stops. And I'm still, like, 20 minutes away. But I just wanted to let y'all know how Dallas red weather is showing their ass. Like, it's showing his ass. But, okay, y'all, we still 20, like, 20 minutes in. So, I'll get back on here when, you know, I pull up. Y'all, through the rain and all the unnecessary other stuff that went on on that road on the way here. 44 minutes later, and I'm here, y'all. So, I'm officially at the first car lot. It's the Chevrolet. Um, It's a Chevrolet dealership or whatever so i'm about to go in there i really be scared y'all because these people really are trying to play you with me but i'm going in there with my head high so <sighs> okay y'all here we go first lot i'm trying to figure out so i came to these lots based off of what i seen on uh when i look so Let's just see. I mean, we're here with Tay. Hey, I'm Blake. I'm Jesse. Okay, and I'm trying to teach some y'all how the YouTube world goes. They just think I'm insane today. <laughs> <laughs> but Blake is gonna help me, y'all. Yes. So yes. this is Blake. Yes. So you know, if he, if you know, today is successful, we giving Blake a huge shout out. Yes. Yes. Yep. And that's on the channel. Yes. So <laughs> we working, y'all. We working. I just want uh, to introduce right. y'all to my guy. Woo! Woo! Okay. <laughs> what is this? It's the guest sheet. The guest sheet. And it's yeah, the I dream call it the dream sheet. sheet. The dream sheet. Yeah, because <laughs> it's, uh, it's, we're trying to figure out what your dreams are and how to make it reality. Period. So. Because we're going to make my dreams reality today, yes. right? Period. Okay. You got it. So, ready? Let's do it. No, I want to trade in my car. So, he's taking a good look at it. Seeing what I. They used to give me some good money for my bag. Like I said, I know how much I want to pay a month. I know how much I want to put down today. I ain't gonna get me. And I'm standing on it. So we'll see you all. Let me keep y'all updated. Update. He doesn't want to be in there. I think I'm camera shy <laughs> you wasn't camera shy earlier. No, no really. <laughs> Y'all, I'm about so to cry. Uh. I'm so sad. <laughs> like this is crazy. So right now, it's looking like I'm not getting my Wrangler for next two years or whatever because it's just like my mind is made up i know what i want to pay i know what i don't want to pay so i have other shit going on so me and blake are looking at other options aka settling settling but i don't know y'all i'm having mixed feelings that's it right here oh i was gonna say i don't think so we're looking at other stuff I promise you, I did not see that Jeep. Did they steal it? <laughs> I have not seen anything. So yeah, y'all. 
I um we're gonna look at Jeep like a Jeep Cherokee. That might be nice, but I don't know. Wow. We sure did. Oh, they got both of them right there, right? And he said the other one was all the way back there. And there's another Jeep Wrangler that you didn't probably didn't know about. Okay, y'all, so let me show y'all the Jeep. That's the, uh, maybe the 14th. It's the what? Maybe the 14th. Oh, yeah, you said I'm silver. Go ahead and see that one first. Here's the Cherokee. Yeah. You got the key for the Cherokee? So, I, <laughs> let me think of I put my camera down yesterday and I was just done. I was just done. So let me update y'all on my car look. So y'all, I, I was at that dealership. I, I mean, I went to the dealership at like 12 yesterday, y'all. I didn't leave to five and I left with nothing, like nothing. So, so it's crazy because people tell me all the time like you go to the dealership and you want a car you want a certain car and then when you get to the dealership you don't leave with that car you don't want that car i understand now because it's so crazy because i've been on my channel telling y'all about this jeep 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 and i don't even want that jeep 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 jeep, jeep no more let me tell you why it's crazy because every like person i know that wanted a jeep no longer wanted it so basically y'all um as y'all know jeeps are like appealing cars on the outside but in the inside, it don't really be too much. And Jeeps are like very expensive for no reason. Um, Jeeps are the price of damn near a fucking luxury car. And you don't get half the, the stuff that comes with the, um, the luxury cars. So, I mean, I knew that. But when I'm in person, I'm actually looking at these cars. Like, it really fucked up my whole understanding. So, y'all, literally, I went to the Jeep dealership. And, like, you know, the Jeep that I wanted, it was cool or whatever. It was real overpriced. And, you know, I feel like when you get cars, everything is a stepping stone. And that's how I live my life. And that's how I shop for cars. Like, my car that I have now, it was a stepping stone. It wasn't my dream car, of course. But it was a stepping stone for what I had before. And that car that I had was a stepping stone that I had before so you know i make um really good money or whatever but i just what the jeep wants you to do and what the jeep wants you to pay i don't want to do that right now because i got a few other things that i need to do so i need to do what's best for me so i decided that a jeep is not what i wanted even when i got there despite the high price the heart the high note or whatever I don't even think it's what I want because you go to the dealership and you go, you test drive these cars and you, you know, you look at these cars and you see the inside is nice and then you get in the, the Wrangler and it's like, okay, it's cute from the outside, but look at the inside. And then you test drive these cars and you're like, oh my God, this car drives so smooth. Like, and then you drive the Wrangler and the Wrangler drives like a fucking go-kart. So it's like after sitting in different cars that you know are more lux luxurious than a Wrangler and a little bit more um a little bit more affordable than a Wrangler it's just like is the Wrangler even worth it do I really care to have this Wrangler it's crazy I came went to the dealership at 12 and I left at 5 and literally I came to the conclusion I don't even want it I'm looking at different cars um like I said a stepping stone or whatever so I'm looking at cars that are you know way more expensive than what I have now um higher in gear stuff like that or whatever but it's just I'm not living above my means because I don't really like believe in that so they're actual I, what I'm going for now y'all is I kind of I've been looking at the a Volkswagen like a 2020 Volkswagen um SUV like truck I can't pronounce the name I think it started with a T or whatever um and I'm looking at a Mazda like a cute little Mazda uh or a Jeep Compass or a Jeep Cherokee one of those three um i've been i had to come home y'all like literally that man was getting on my nerves so hopefully he don't you know watch this because that was 
so interested in my YouTube life or whatever. But he was being very over, overbearing. And that's how they are. But he was weirding me the fuck out. Because I kept telling him, like, okay. Like, I drove the Jeep Compass. I really like that. So, I wrote that on my list or whatever. The Jeep Compass is really nice. It's real sleek, real polished like me. But... I'm not an impulsive buyer when it comes to cars, so I have to take the time. I came in there with the mindset that I was getting a Wrangler, so I have to go back to the drawing board. What do I see myself in now? I have to go on YouTube. I have to look at these cars. I have to really look at the inside, the interior. That can I really see? Like this is a a car that I'm gonna have for a couple more years, so I need to make sure that this is what I really want. You know, it looks good. I want to be. I'm ready for a truck because I didn't have three cars, so I need to feel like I look a real expensive in it you know what I'm saying I want something like a cute truck that fits me or whatever so I had um last night I came home and I wrote down three cars and I really just been looking at them and then I'm gonna look up dealerships that have my car and then I'll go to that one and I'll pick because I'm not gonna keep having them running my credit because absolutely not so the next car that I go look at I'm going to take my time. I'm going to go back on Monday. I took off on Monday because I work all day today, all day tomorrow. The next car I look at it will be the car that I get. I'm not going to have them keep running my credit because that's really bad on your credit when the uh, dealerships run your credit report and stuff like that. But, y'all, he was just really overbearing. He had me there all day. I've been told him that I, whatever you say, it's nothing you can say. Like, I'm, people always think, they think because you're women, they will try to do this, they will try to do that. Right idea absolutely wrong bitch y'all i'm really smart i don't like spending i work very hard for my money so i don't impulsively spend my money like figurously is that if that's a word like i just don't be like oh okay he said this let me do it now i'm not dumb so that's why i went by myself because i'm not dumb um I this man was they had me in all these different cars trying to convince me to buy them, baby. I understand you want that sale, but you're not gonna get me. Then you were trying to convince me to buy this Wrangler. Y'all, he knew I had YouTube or whatever. He knew I did YouTube because I was vlogging. Do y'all know this man gonna tell me like, well, you know the Wrangler isn't impossible if you have a mindset on what you wanna like. If you change your mindset on what you wanna pay every month, you know, maybe upload an extra YouTube video a month. Get the fuck up out my face. I mean, fuck them now. Like, y'all, he really had me fuck them. Not you just insisted that I upload an extra YouTube video every month. You don't even know, like, my life. Like, please sit down. Like, I don't give a fuck if I could upload an extra YouTube video a month. I have other shit going on. And my whole life is not going to revolve around my car no every month. I know what the fuck I'm going to pay every month. And it's not going to be something ridiculous. So, get the fuck out of my face. I'm not one of those gullible ass bitches you convince, could convince to do anything. I know I might look cute, but... No, nah. y'all, he had me there all day. Like, every time I told him, no, 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 sir, there's nothing you can do, nothing you can say. I'm not getting a car today. I have to go home and I have to re rethink. I have to figure out what I really want. He literally, but, 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 get the fuck up on my face. I have to tell him where's my car because I'm trading in my car and he was trying to give me an appraisal on it. So he had my car, he had my car key. So I'm like, where's my car? He was like, I don't know where your car is. Stop fucking playing with me for y'all really see the real me in this bitch for real so we go in i'm like do you have my keys he's like one second he goes in he's he's talking having a conversation with another salesman he had a salesman you know come talk to me like hi like ain't no hi it's five o'clock i've been here since 12 get the fuck up out my face before i snap on y'all he's like hi um you don't see nothing you like I just told him that I don't, and I'm ready to get the fuck up out of here. I don't know why he sent you to me, but you need to get up out of my face. So I'm like, no, I don't like anything. I need to go home. I need to think or whatever. It's nothing that none of y'all can do right now. I'm telling you this right now. It's nothing that none of y'all can do to convince me to buy a car today, impulsively. No, because I came here with the mindset that I was getting one car, so I have to go regroup and see what I can actually see myself in. I'm not going to impulsively think that right now because... No, I'm putting my money into this, not nobody else's money. So get the hell up out of my face, y'all. He had me so messed up. So, um, he finally he was just like he just gave up. He was like, all right, give her keys. Like, stop playing with me. Like for real, just please stop playing with me. Like y'all don't know. Like I'm explaining it to y'all, but I feel like this is sugar coated the way I'm explaining it to y'all. It went way like it was way more extra than this. And if y'all on here and y'all bought a car. Before y'all know how them salesmen get. They be trying to get their commission. They be trying to get their sales. Because if I told you I don't feel comfortable with paying a certain amount. Don't try to tell me that maybe I can post another YouTube video. I know what I can do. I make very good money. But 
what I say goes. My mind is made up. I know what I'll pay every month on a car. And that's that. You don't know what else I got going on in life. What else I plan on doing. Get the fuck up out my face. That was day one. Um, you know, I'm not going to say 5-5 five five is in my number. Or 5-5 five five just didn't work. 5-5 five five actually turned out amazing. Because 5-5 five five showed me that, you know, did I even want that? It made me realize. It made me open up my mind. Like, girl, you don't even want that. Like, look at the inside. Look at, like, it's cool. That was the look I was going for. But when I really got in, like, it made me realize, like, mm, maybe that's not what I want right now. So, um, I'm not too opposed on the Cherokee and the Compass, though. But I want to go and look at um, the Volkswagen. Let me show y'all. I've been looking at it a little bit. So, let me show y'all. Um, about him y'all look at this truck so cute and I, I could just see me in this getting in this it looks so polished y'all and i'm gonna get um the windows tinny oh look at it y'all wait wait let me show you that front look at it oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god, oh my god. so i was thinking about this this is so cute let me show y'all the inside the inside looks so freaking good everything that i get has to be an upgrade of what i got so, you know, I don't have a backup camera right now, so it has to have a backup camera. Y'all get what I'm saying? Look at the dashboard. Oh, my God. So cute. Um, let me show y'all the interior. I want to show y'all the um, this part because I don't have this on my car, like, right now. Because I got the car that I have, I had got when I was a little younger, so... Like, I don't have all this. This is really cute. I like this. I like this. I like this. Um, yeah. Real, real cute. Real cute. Real cute. So, it's this. And then, um, this is where my mind is at. I have my mind on a 2020 uh, Mazda C5. But, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. So... We just going to see, y'all. We just going to see. But regardless, I'm going to knock this goal down for sure. Um, I'm just glad. Like, um, Yeah. I don't know, y'all. And then let me show you the Jeep Compass. Oh, my God. The Jeep Compass is it's cute, too. And y'all know what? I ain't even like that. Like, if I do end up, you know getting a compass or whatever the one that i did look at with the dude in the previous clips of this video they were really good um i could see myself in that too the volkswagen just look a little bit more polished and girly for me um this is the jeep compass this is kind of exactly how the compass looks at the dealership this is cute or whatever um let me show y'all the inside like this is cute too like the little dashboard or whatever that's cute i just don't know yet so it's really between those two and then i was thinking about like a a 20 like 20 because i don't gotta have no 2022 like I'm still elevating. I'm still, you know. But um I was thinking about a 2020 BMW X3 in white. Those are cute too. But I don't know, y'all. I'm just trying to figure it out. I just want to get on here and you know, like update y'all or whatever. <sighs> Which yesterday was a mess, but then again it wasn't. It was a lot, but um yeah, y'all, I'm about to get up from work. I got six clients. I had to come home and rest because it was long. I was in that sun all day. So, um, I don't know what that means. But, yeah, um, I, I I don't have any more time to go to the dealership today, tomorrow. So, now I officially have to wait until Monday to go to the dealership because I feel like you need a full day for that and none of these days I have full days I have to work all day today all day tomorrow so I will probably see y'all again 
on Monday. And we're going to try this again. And hopefully on Monday, I get my car. So, yeah, y'all. I'll see y'all later. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to another clip of this video so i just got on here today to update y'all because i have not talked to y'all since the last time i talked to y'all the last time i talked to y'all it probably was what a thursday i had went car hunting um one thing i learned that car hunting is not easy um but basically so the last time i talked to y'all went car hunting or whatever it didn't really work out in my favor but i feel like at the end of the day it did end up ending up working in my favor because i really like everything that happened that day everything that went wrong or didn't work in my favor it showed me what i really wanted and what i didn't want so y'all know i walked in a car dealership wanting a jeep wrangler or whatever mine on jeep wrangler y'all know if y'all are loyal subscriber y'all know i have my mind on this jeep wrangler so i went to the car dealership actually got in a wrangler um talk numbers and stuff like that all the good irritating stuff and realized like that's not what i'm getting that's not what i want so i had to really go back to the drawing board and really figure out like what do i want what could i see myself in like and y'all i really have to the conclusion of what i want i kind of the jeep wrangler ended up it's like it's still a, a lit car or whatever a lit truck or whatever the case may be but it's just not what i want it's so crazy because a lot of people i know go on to car dealerships and want a jeep wrangler or have a plan to get a jeep wrangler end up not getting a jeep wrangler and i so happen to be one of them so um it is may 19th tomorrow is may 20th um I decided I was supposed to, so the last time I talked to y'all, I was supposed to be going to the car dealership that following Monday. And then I had a conversation with my father. Uh, my father lives in Arizona and um, he's a car salesman and he has something going down, going on in Texas um, here in Dallas this week. So, you know, I was going car shopping by myself like two weeks ago. So he suggested that i wait on him because he knows what he's in this field he knows you know all the ins and outs you know he's very experienced my dad's been a car salesman for a very long time he has other hustles and stuff on the side but this has always been you know what he does so it only made sense for me to wait for my dad because i feel like i even when I noticed when I went there by myself, you know, car salesmen, they be wanting their sales and they'll try to sell you anything for any price because you're a woman and they know we don't know a lot about cars or whatever. So I decided to take the smart route and wait on my dad being that he was coming to town two weeks after. So now it is May 19th and my dad's coming tomorrow. He'll be, his flight leaves at 8. he get here at 10.50 and we are going car shopping. So y'all, I'm trying not to get excited because if everything works out, I will have a new car tomorrow. I'm gonna be a new girl, okay? Like, whatever. So I took these two weeks to, you know, really get my mind together. I have to go back to square one and really decide what I wanted. And I feel like these two weeks is what I needed, honestly, because I feel like at the dealership, since I wasn't getting a regular, they was trying to put me in any and everything. And I'm like, no, if I'm putting money into something, I'm going to be driving something every single day. And it's going to be um elevation to what i got it needs to be something that i want i can't i was trying to tell the dealer i mean the salesman i can't make up my mind in one day like the way i'm set up i need time i have to look at youtube videos i have to look at google images of the interior and stuff like that and i just couldn't make my mind up that day because like i said i had my mind on my wrangler and come to find out like I could get a more bang for my buck getting something else. That's the crazy part. Anybody, like, that's true. Like, no offense to anybody that has a Jeep, but a Jeep Wrangler, but it's like, I'm really in my black girl luxury era, okay? And I want something that looks like that. I want something fat, y'all. I want something that look like, okay, sis playing with a little check, because you know, I'm doing pretty good in life, so so anyway i came to the conclusion that i want to be a part of the volkswagen gang ah, i want a volkswagen truck y'all 
I'm not gonna tell y'all which one yet because y'all gonna see. But I want a Volkswagen truck. Like that's what my mind is on. I want a white or black Volkswagen truck. I'm leaning towards the white one, but everything about it just screams like, okay, sis, like what do you do for work? Like that's what I want. When I when I think of trucks. Outside of a Jeep, that's what I think. That's what I like. That's what it's giving y'all. So I've been doing my research these last couple weeks. I've been going back and forth um, between two different trucks, but I know for a fact that I'm getting a truck. Like I've had three cars my whole life. I'm ready for a truck. So it was no going around that I needed a truck. So I was looking at everything, all trucks. So I was comparing, um, the Volkswagen truck and the Mazda truck, it was a bit, it was between the two. The both are like extremely like luxurious looking cars. But I came to the conclusion that I want the Volkswagen. I just feel so in love with it over these last two weeks, y'all. And I'm so glad that I waited because the man was trying to get me to get a Jeep Compass. And those are cool, those are fine, but those aren't me. Like I'm more, I need something girly, like a little bit more girly, a little bit more luxurious looking. And a Jeep Compass was the given. It was getting, it was given settled. You couldn't get a, you could, you didn't get your Jeep Wrangler, so you got a Jeep Compass. Like, no. I want to get on here and just update y'all. This has been a while since I talked to y'all, and I have a like, I'm in a new state of mind. I'm very um, excited. Um, I know that since my dad is coming with me, everything is going to work out. Everything works out when you got the coin. So it's just like, I have no doubt in my mind that i'm not getting my car tomorrow but yeah my dad get her at 10 i'm gonna get up in the morning i'm gonna pray i'm gonna pray tonight i'm just pray about it y'all i'm gonna pray tomorrow i walk off with my car um but like i said i want like a white or black one i'm staring towards the white because the white just looks so fucking fat and i'm gonna get it tinted i'm gonna get some new rims on my baby like i can't freaking wait y'all i didn't have my car for like three years and that was the goal like i was young and i had started i was like i didn't just start playing with a check but kind of like i started really getting some money so i'm like the car that i was driving i'm like no i'm making way too much money for that but i needed something everything is a stepping stone for me i needed a, something like leveled up from what i was driving prior and that's how i feel now i need something that still fits me fits me comfortably financially mentally physically and a stepping stone for what i had everything's a stepping stone y'all i'm just so excited it's just gonna be perfect for me i just can't bring it away like ah! y'all know i'm always crazy like ah. that's why i got my stuff together i got my hair done yesterday i got my nails done eyebrows done you look good you feel good i always say that you look good you feel good so i have to have positive energy and stuff like that because i know it's gonna work out and the next time i see on this vlog i'm gonna have my motherfucking car my fucking the one the Volkswagen that i want is so nice in the inside i got the panoramic ceilings the panoramic sunroof i can't wait to just record my vlogs in there i can't wait to buy all my car accessories i'm just so excited though i haven't had a new car in three years and i'm gonna treat this like my freaking baby when i tell you i'm gonna treat it like my baby like my dog i'm talking monthly details ain't no eating in my car but that's a lie y'all that's a lie but it's okay though because i'm gonna get um the car tray from amazon because i'm not playing about my new car y'all like i can't wait to get my baby i can't wait for y'all to see it so <sighs> i'm just so excited i'm so happy that i made this decision like i really thought through with it because it's like i love this even i love this way more than a jeep like y'all this is crazy i'm starting to like it way more than a jeep um and i still feel like 555 even though i didn't get my car i'm still seeing 555 almost every week and 555 i mean just because i didn't get my car that doesn't mean that day wasn't special or was that meaningful five five may 5th showed me like it kind of humbled me like hold on baby is that what you really want like on five five i realized that you know the car that i thought i wanted all this time i did not want you want this it's like so it's 
still a very special day like i'm still screaming five 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 every day and that's just period so y'all i'm so excited i can't wait to watch this vlog and edit this vlog because oh boy was tripping me out in the beginning of the video he was so everything y'all and he just called my phone like two weeks ago like hey see i'm like get the hell on my phone i know you want this sale and shit like this but y'all don't have nothing at that dealership for me so you can't keep me this time because my daddy ain't gonna play my daddy don't play about me period so y'all i just wanted to update y'all um i'm about to make me some dinner i'm about to i got a video uploading for y'all because my goal is to get a video out, video out for y'all today because it's gonna be the next vlog on my channel okay hello so yeah y'all it's a good yeah i'm i'm feeling amazing um yeah so i guess i'll see y'all in the morning who i'm nervous but everything's gonna work out in my favor i just know it is i just know it is it is y'all so i'll see y'all tomorrow good morning good morning good morning look at that hair that hair gonna always hair y'all so this is my outfit of the day wait y'all see it nike y'all know i have to get cute today so Hold on, I'm gonna talk to y'all. Hey y'all, so it's officially May 20th, y'all. I talked to y'all yesterday. I am on my way to the first day. She and my dad just literally touched down. He got here at like 11, got his rental or whatever. So we both finna meet each other at the first dealership. The first dealership, I already got it on my clipboard. And I got on my clipboard and I just put it in my maps. It's officially 20 minutes away from me. Um, I'm thinking about getting some gas because my daddy just be whatever. But no, actually, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> no, actually, I might get some gas because I might run out before then. So he's 30 minutes away. I'm 20, 19 minutes away. So I'm going to just slide to the gas station real quick. And I'm going to just give me some gas so I, my car don't be on e when i get there because y'all know how daddy's is like i get there my car on e i'm gonna have to hear your mouth and then i'm gonna have to zone you out so anyway i'm gonna go get some gas real quick and then i'm gonna head to the dealership y'all i think i need me a red bull i need to boost my energy positive energy okay positive energy i hope today is everything that i want it to be i don't understand i don't see what could go wrong today but I know I got my dad by my side, so everything should go as planned. Planned, y'all. I'm going out. I'm getting cute. I'm gonna get a drink or two or three or four and celebrate, y'all, because baby, I've been praying on my new car this year. That's the first go. And if I get my car today, I'm gonna be so big and happy. Like, yes! So I'm about to play some music and make some little videos, and I'll see y'all when I get to the dealership. Um, I don't know if I'm be picking up my camera like that. I'm gonna pick it up as the time goes, but I don't know if I'm picking up the camera because it was kind of hard really paying attention. Like this is real life stuff, so I really have to pay attention. Why isn't this truck going? Like dead ass. Um, yeah, I gotta really pay attention, so. Y'all see, y'all see. So I see y'all a little later. So we made it to the dealership. My dad is right here. And I just walked in and told him what car I wanted to look at today. And he looked it up on his phone to see if it was here. And it's here, so he's going to get the keys and go get it. So when he pulls up with it, I'm gonna pull out my camera and I'm gonna show y'all. Stay pray up for me, y'all. Drop a prayer hands for me. So cute. And then here's the same car. Y'all, I'm in love. Look at the cocaine light. Look at the motherfucking touch screen. Motherfucking. Look at that push to stop.
page because that's where a lot of my clients come from. Yeah, my clients come from my business page or whatever. I be posting her in there. I just started back or whatever. Okay, y'all. So I haven't picked up my camera in a minute, but my dad has left. Um, I had I didn't even show y'all the second card I looked at, but I looked at the same car at a di different dealership because the last car from the first dealership it had a light on and they wasn't trying to give me a lot of money for my last car it was just a lot of stuff and my dad like i told y'all earlier it's a car salesman so he don't be going for none of that so we went to a different dealership an actual volkswagen dealership and we seen the same car same color um but the interior is black and i don't have my son y'all cries cries but it's okay so um we got like estimates and stuff and my dad has somewhere to be today so he left but i decided to come back in and you know call my insurance company get all my rates and stuff together see how much get quotes and stuff like that and i just decided to come back in and handle the rest on my own because my daddy did all the the negotiating shit like that now i got i got it from here so um i just filled out some paperwork signed a few you know papers or whatever and it's looking like i'm getting my car y'all so i'm waiting on him to come back um i think he had to run like a credit scan or something don't know but i'm on the phone with hashay just catching up with her for a little bit but it looks like i'm gonna have my car y'all so i'm gonna get back on here and when he come back and everything is final and i'm gonna show y'all and hopefully everything works out in my favor so I just wanted to get up here and get on here and give y'all an update and I'll see y'all in a minute. Y'all, when I tell y'all, I'm so ready to go. Like, getting cars are annoying as fuck. Like, I'm ready to go. I ain't ate all day. I've been at the dealerships since, oh, I don't want to say like 11, 12 at this point on 7 o'clock. 621 like come the fuck on like dead ass i hate this process so bad i'm ready to walk out honestly okay so where i'm signing you just need a signature there anywhere on the bottom anywhere on the bottom right here that's just showing you Equifax I believe yeah okay. so it dang there went down somewhere because of the um and that should be it for now um we just gotta do the rest of the contract and you should be good to go okay so so you thinking like another hour probably yeah oh child okay <laughs> but we'll try to make it as fast as we can Man, I'm gonna need a red bull. Right. I'll be right back. Okay? All right. Oh, whatever. Huh? I swear. You said what? I swear to God. I'm just feeling so tired now. But I'm, I gotta get up because I gotta do what it do. Pink rubber bands on me. Barbie shit. Okay, y'all, so this is officially the last form I'm signing for today. I didn't sign so much stuff, so I'm so hungry. I'm giving him a hard time. I've been here all day. This is the one right here, so here we go. Just got in town. Then I won't let cumulus clouds all in the sky. Ruin my vibe. Usually I just don't. Congratulations. Congratulations.
Garbage. This was all my trunk, and it's still stuff in there. And I almost threw away my Bottega Vanitas. Like, what the fuck? I'm so glad I peeped that. I've been looking for these everywhere, y'all. Like, these $1,300 heels. Like, I'm crazy. New motherfucking view. Who that? Ah, y'all, I'm driving in my new car. Don't talk to me. But let me tell y'all what I just went through. It's dark in here, so y'all gotta listen very closely. And I'm pulling up to my house. Y'all, while I get all the way to my house with my new car, I cleaned out my car. And let me just tell y'all, when I clean, after I cleaned it out, they told me I didn't have to clean it out. Okay, let's just start there. Get all the way home, realize, where's my camera? Where's my camera? Panicking, panicking, where's my camera? Go down to my new car, where's my camera? Can't find it, in the trunk, where's my camera? In the back seat, where's my camera? In the passenger seat, where's my fucking camera? nowhere to be found y'all i go all the way back to the car dealership okay and they tell me what the fuck is wrong with my fucking phone my fucking camera okay i go all the way back to the dealership y'all for them to tell me i mean for me to look in my car and the fucking cameras in my trunk underneath the fucking spare tire like oh my god i gotta make sure my camera is like fine this is just too much for me y'all i'm overwhelmed but at the end of the day i feel so good y'all i knocked down my first go uh 2022 get my new car i got my new car y'all i'm so happy i feel so blessed enough to be able to do it by myself like i did it by myself all off of me like literally i'm sorry it's dark and y'all can't see me but y'all all off of me baby so i'm so happy my new car rides so good and it's so cute for me i love it call me volkswagen t oh yeah y'all no i'm about to go celebrate i gotta get myself together because i'm all the way thrown off today like i don't need a re a re a redo a refresh but i'll talk to y'all in a second y'all so i'm in the house i just showered but yeah like i was saying in the car y'all i'm so happy and so blessed i i not got one go y'all i've been telling y'all on this channel that i'm getting a new car i'm getting a new car i'm getting a new car who got their new car i got my new car so now as y'all can see my face is fully glammed me and keon is about to go have a couple drinks and be cute get some content and you know just celebrate my little accomplishment because i worked hard and i've been praying on this day for a very very long time so i'm getting cute as y'all can see faces beat i need a real 15 minute meet um i'm gonna wear 
the color it girl from my bff collection i've never worn this before and i feel like a lot of my audience and my customers slept on this lip because it's so cute and um it was one of my least sellers so i'm about to put that lip on i outline my lips real good we always outline our lips ladies so my let me show y'all what i'm gonna put on So I am wearing this dress from Zara. If y'all watched one of my last couple vlogs, I had this dress on. I mean, I had this dress in the back on the rack, uh, ready to get fitted and put on. And I ended up buying it. So I'm gonna wear this black and white dress with the pop of the purple lip. And then I'm gonna wear my silver boots and a silver, like, glittery bag. So. I'm about to get ready because it's already late. The car dealership had me there all day, y'all. I'll talk about that with y'all tomorrow. So I'm kind of rushing, but not rushing. So I'll see y'all when I get done getting dressed. Okay, y'all. So I was forced to wear my real hair tonight. I don't know how I feel about it, but it's going to have to be. So this is my outfit. Boom, boom. Y'all know I got my favorite. So, yeah, giving Des Dior tonight because she stay wearing her natural hair and I don't see how the hell she do it and still feel cute because this is like not it. So, we'll see. I'm probably not going to take no pictures tonight, so we'll just see, we'll just see, we'll just see, but it's looking like a no right now. So I'm gonna be on my way to get Keon. So I'll see y'all later. I'm gonna hop in my new car. Okay, y'all. Uh, I don't know why my camera be looking so damn close. I ought to get me a camera stand because baby, we ain't in the Honda no more. Bye bye. Mm. Okay, y'all, so I'm a little behind, but I just picked up Keon and we're on the way. We're about to go to Stir. And oh, is that a park? That is Can I good. park my car right there though? Do I trust my car right there? It's big enough. I think you'll be good. You sure? Mm -hmm. Okay. But um yeah. So I picked Keon up. Should I bag him? Yeah. It's a big I body. can't I can't be parking my car yeah. any type of way. It's a big body, you should bag in for sure. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, when the yellow is lined up with the green. Ah! And then this is the back of my car. Yeah. Don't play with me. Oh yeah, y'all. I just picked up Keon. Ah, my new car, Keon. How you like my car? I love it. He love my it's, car, y'all. It's very luxury, real it's exclusive, really expensive. Real black girl luxury. Yeah, whatever. it's the black seat, mm -hmm. the leather. I told Keon he the only person I could drink in my car. And that's period. Yeah, period. <laughs> okay. uh, so we was going to stir, and then they want to close the fucking kitchen at twelve midnight, and it's twelve midnight. So, I feel some type of way about that. But it's all good though. Because we act. Yeah, Sam probably looking at me like, where the fuck? Exactly. They must not know I'm Nikki's little sister. <laughs> Every place we finna have to go. That's the only thing I can think of. Not in my freakum dress. Y'all, we didn't try it every place in this plaza. Everybody didn't set their clothes. Kitchen clothes at 12. Kitchen clothes at 12. And you know what? I blame my mama. So I was trying to leave the house and hurry up. She like, let me see the car. Let me see the car. I'm like, Ma, come on. You can see it in the morning. I got to go get Keon. But I didn't know these places closed at 12 unless I would have made it urgent. So. Wow. All right, I'll update y'all in a minute. I'm still happy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes we laugh and sometimes we cry, but I guess you know now. Yeah. Baby. Yeah. I took a half and she took the whole thing. Slow down. Now we on your blood, and it's like a ghost town. Baby, where did these niggas be at when they said they go? 
pulling out this and all that. Tired of beefing you bones, you can't even pay me enough to react. Been waking up in the crib, but sometimes I don't even know where I'm at. Let's do it! Okay, but I just want to get on here and really just chat because it just hit me this morning that I got on the car, y'all. So, yesterday was just so long. Like, I be forgetting, like, how long the, the process be to get a car. But I woke up this morning feeling so, like, blessed and grateful. Like, literally, I've been praying on my new car since the last time I could remember. But one thing about me I wait my time, I wait my turn, and I stay in my own lane. I don't try to rush. Like, this is advice to all my girls out there that, like, you know, see me as an inspiration or look up to me. Wait your turn. Like, move at your own pace. Like, never try to hurry up and rush and do things because you see the next person doing it or whatever, or you feel like they doing it and you behind or whatever the case may be. Wait your turn. Like, everything will happen when it's supposed to happen for you like literally that's how i am with everything in life like and it's crazy because i thought i it was just me but literally everybody says it about me anyway but literally y'all like i've been praying on my new car and i did it i did i did i did it all by myself all off me like i'm so excited i'm so happy like i just love get i already love getting oh okay hey okay y'all he is getting it this morning like but i am just so blessed and grateful and happy and just everything like uh, it just feels so good to be me today like for real um y'all the another re another thing i have to say is nothing you want in life comes easy you really have to work hard for what you want and even like I, that's why I vlogged my car experience because I it, I knew it was gonna be something like it's always something like I said nothing comes easy like you gonna always have to work for what you want and that's basically what it was like I went to the dealership thinking I wanted a car and I ended up not wanting a car it didn't work out for me the first day because I didn't know what I wanted or whatever I had to take the time to really um I had to take the time to really think it out and think about what I really wanted. Then on top of that, y'all, I went to do two dealerships yesterday. The first dealership trying to give me way less for my car that I just had. And then, you know, me and my dad, my dad, like I told y'all multiple times since we know he a car salesman, so he know or whatever. And they, um literally was trying to give me a certain amount and trying to have me settle or whatever and then we went to another dealership we went to another volkswagen dealership I, I guess and literally they gave me like more than they gave me so much more for my car than the other part the other um dealership was like it's just so crazy like and that's why like when you go to these dealerships you get these cars you cannot like do not settle Go to multiple dealerships, you know, really weigh out your options because that's crazy because if I wasn't with my daddy, I probably would have went and did that shit because I really thought the amount that they was giving me, I had already had that in my mind that that's what they was going to give me anyway, but I guess not. Like, happy, just everything just went as planned. Like, I'm just so freaking grateful. Like, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Because God know I've been praying on my new car. That was number one on my goal list for 2022. And it's not the first goal that um, I accomplished. But it is one of the biggest goals that uh, I accomplished. So, I'm just, like, so happy, y'all. Like, I'm so happy. I just want to get on here and really talk to y'all. Because yesterday was a mess, y'all. Like, literally was at the dealership all day the salesman that i was even working with he had to leave because he got a call from his wife that his daughter stuck something in her ear and he had to take her to the hospital so they had me waiting on a financer for so long 
mind y'all i got up early in the morning y'all see i got up early in the morning i'm not even thinking i'm thinking it's gonna be a long process but not that fucking long i didn't eat the only thing i ate was popcorn at the dealership y'all and that was a mess so i was so frustrated so then i left and my trunk was horrible like when it was done the whole process was done my trunk was fucking horrible and um i thought i had to clean it out i cleaned it out and was fucking stressed the hell out cleaning it out kind of find out i didn't even have to clean it out because they were gonna clean it out so then i get all the way home to try to talk to y'all and y'all i realize i don't have my camera i go all the way back i'm searching for my camera in my trunk because they left my car door unlocked by that time they were closed y'all my camera was on the bottom of my spare tire like are you kidding me Tiana? like i was just all over the place y'all stressed like that dealership shit is no joke and it'll really give you a run for your fucking money um, excuse me don't touch my car yeah went back me and keon went out we had a good time everything we went everywhere we went it was so late because i was at that dealership so so long I had to go back and look for my camera just waste all this time we didn't get to where we were supposed to go to 12 o'clock y'all and the kitchen was closed in the whole plaza they had plenty of restaurants it was closed in the whole plaza so we ended up going to tgi fridays full tomato tomato but we met some really good people there so it all worked out went home went to sleep boom now i'm here so i'm just so happy yes 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 go marked off my list it's something about me you know accomplishing my goals that just gives my body just this quivering feeling like for real so yeah um i'm excited y'all i'm grateful i can't stop saying it like for real so i'm literally gonna go to work today i have four clients starting at 10 but i gotta go back to the dealership because i forgot my pass my parking pass for my house in my car so i really really hope they didn't start cleaning my car out yet um for real so i gotta go do that and then i gotta go to work i'm gonna try to go to the nearest starbucks if i can and then when I get off of work, I'm going to pick my camera up. We're going to go to Bath and Body Works. We got to get us some new car stints, y'all. I had stopped buying them for my car because, you know, when y'all, like, you don't be feeling it no more. So I'm going to get, like, a cute little, some, um, my favorite scents from Bath and Body Works. Get a cute little car scent holder. They be having all type of cute stuff, y'all. So I'm going to get one of them. And then I just ordered me some, like, car stuff because... I need all that. I'm not playing about my new car. Y'all know when people get their new car, they be like, uh, -uh no eating in my car. No, for real. And this it's this car tray that I've been wanting to order from Amazon, but I haven't found a reason to order it. I'm ordering that shit. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, I just want to get on here and just tell y'all, never give up. Follow your dreams. Accomplish those goals. Work towards those goals. Do whatever you can. Anything you want in life. You can have it as long as you work hard you have to manifest you have to work hard and you really have to put in that work for real because y'all y'all see me y'all be seeing me i work hard I think I like watermelon lemonade is my favorite. Amber what? Okay, y'all. So I decided to get that three for ten. So I'm gonna get three because they last a little longer. I mean, a bit. They last a bit. So I'm gonna get. Kiki B, strawberry pound cake, and Waikiki coconut. Mm. And I think I'm gonna get this. Cause I had this before. This oh, this one's cute too. But this go more with the vibe. So I'm gonna get this. 
so yes that's what we doing yeah. so i went to Bath and body works and i got my car stand so i'm about to put um the scent in there so my shit can be smelling good when i get back in here i don't know what scent i want to put on there in there but i'm thinking waikiki beach coconut hold on okay I'm thinking Waikiki Beach Coconut. So, let me do it. So, it says, pill when ready to use. Hi, Keon. I was just finna get off of here because Kentry just got off. You good over there? Hello? He clicked on here and say nothing. So, it says... Cool. Yikes, turn it down. Oh my god. So, I'll be having a hard time pulling these. Oh my god, I can't wait. So, I'm gonna put the rest in my glove department. So, you just. Oh, they made it way easier to open these. It was not that easy back in the day. Y'all, these are the best car scents, like, ever. If you got these, if you know about these, you a real, you a real, real. You ain't new to this, you true to this if you got one of these. Because everybody know these one of the best. But, baby, how do I put this in there? Like, wait, what? Don't tell me I don't got the, oh, oh my God, y'all, they snap. So they have the one that goes like this for the people that have the vents that you just got, stick it in. And then if you don't got that, they got the ones like this. Oh my God, y'all, they upgraded like a mug. Cause I'm telling y'all back in the day, if you ain't had that, that's that certain one, you were just fucked. Like waste the money. So cute, y'all. Look, look, look. Let me show y'all. Look at that, y'all. That's so cute. Period. <laughs> but okay, y'all. I'm gonna make my way in the house for the day. Um, oops, I forgot to put one of these in there. I'm about to end this vlog, y'all. I'm glad I could take y'all on my little experience. I don't know how long this vlog gonna be. Um, I was just picking up my camera when I was at the dealership or whatever. But when you really, um, in that process, you like, you don't really think about recording because it's a lot of stuff that you sign in. It's a lot of stuff that you agreeing to. So you really got to pay attention. You can't really think about your camera. You really be having to, you know, so I wasn't, I didn't think I recorded a lot, but I definitely got good parts of my experience. Um, hopefully this vlog will motivate the next girl to go get your car suits. Like if that's one of your goals for this year do it and if you feel like you can't do it work towards it so you can okay i just want to thank all y'all for watching i love y'all so much if y'all are not subscribed make sure you subscribe to this channel because it's gonna be a whole lot of love goal achieving boss shit on this channel and i need to get to 10k y'all when i get to 10k i'm doing a giveaway and my giveaway gonna be so fucking nice and luxurious black girl luxury so 10k y'all roll to 10k make sure y'all subscribe i love y'all and i'll see y'all in the next video i got my motherfucking car bitch ah! <laughs> see y'all